Give us just kind of the top line to what happened here. So this family thought they were adopting a six-year-old girl. Correct. And they, got, they very, very quickly, like within days, they adopted her in Florida, the families in Indiana. They hadn't even left Florida yet when they had some reason to believe that she was much older than six years old. I don't want to give things away, but they believed she was actually older and maybe even an adult. And she started doing things in the home that scared them and threatening them, doing physical things and hoarding knives and trying to poison the mother, Christine. This is what they say, right? So they were really scared. And they basically went to court and, and had her re-aged. Which couldn't have been easy considering she's an orphan from Ukraine. Uh, how would they, I mean, they would have to go back and try and find birth records or birth parents. They went, they went to the court with an emergency petition and uh, an affidavit from a doctor who had been treating her for the past few years, who said that he did not notice any growth and there was no growth in four years. She was supposedly eight at the time. So he said, well, you stop growing when you're 18. If she hasn't had any bone growth in four years, then she's at least 22. And with a stroke of a pen, he went from age eight to 22 for Natalia. So she theoretically became somebody who could vote, drink, and drive. So she had to kind of um, embody the personality and, 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 and the personality of a six-year-old. Did she pull that off? Let me tell you, there are people who observed her, who lived near her, because she had two different apartments once she was re-aged, and they come down on, on different sides and whether or not she's an adult or a child, okay? They observe her enjoying riding a bicycle with another child and playing with another child, but they also observe her acting out and coming on to men sexually. So... Was she uh, masquerading as a child? I'm not so sure because we are the sum total of our life experiences and we don't know what her life experiences were until then. Even as a child, maybe she was sexually abused as a child and was acting out because she didn't know any better. She didn't know her boundaries. But it's very strange because neighbors who had a lot of contact with her, some believe she was an adult and some believe she was a child. And really, the viewers are going to make up their own minds. Because I really don't know. I lean one way, but I don't know that we'll ever know the entire truth here.